We're here with Rob, obviously um, most valuable player last year in the <laughs> Tennis Brisbane Chargers. Brother-in-law, you know, you played down the order last year. How's the team looking this year? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. We've got uh, quite a few names on the list and um, so I'm pretting out that Jolin has been training every day and uh, he's been super pumped. Well, he announced his comeback today, didn't he? Which exactly. Is, he's he's right. timed it perfectly for the ATL season, <laughs> which is pretty exciting, especially when you're a Chargers uh, player and supporter. So what do you do? What's the preparations been like for the ATL? Well, like I said, um, Joel's made a comeback. Uh, Lucky, he had recently got a job, but um, I believe he's been training and uh, getting ready for it as well. We've got Gavin and uh, Caden playing Gavin's had a pretty good year. He has, he's played very well. Yeah. Um, but like I said, with a couple of comebacks and everything, you know, that might drop me down even further. Who knows? I don't know, he's still uh, black caviar, he's still unbeaten. How's the uh, elbow on you? You had a few little problems with that. What do you do to get that right? Well, yeah, about the unbeaten bit. Um, that's going to be changing um, very soon, I'm sure. Um, especially with the elbow. But um, yeah, my training and everything like that has been uh, watching on the side of the court and uh, just Picking seeing how my tips. players are. Yeah, exactly right. I've been asking my 12 year olds, 14 year olds some, for some tips on how to play and they've been pretty useful. So um, I might try and use those ones and uh, maybe take a quarter zone for my elbow if I have to. Now, I know of some people when they get injured, you know, they, they start to feel their aches and pains a little bit more, you know, especially when there's such an exciting season coming up and it gets a little bit tired. That's not the case. There's a legitimately a few little problems there, but you're gonna get through the season. Yeah, I started a couple of months ago. Um, Still winning really though bad. during that? I got lucky, yeah. And obviously there's a few new, new players, uh, it seems to have expanded, the competition's gotten uh, even more competitive mm. and obviously the biggest names, you know, we're standing underneath this, uh, this stadium here, Paddy Rafter, what do you think of that? And yeah, are, definitely. Are you possibly going to play against him? Um, well, we'll start with definitely his new players, that's right, looks a lot stronger as well. But, Tennis and um, Bolt. Sorry? Tennis and Bolt. <laughs> Cashed up. <laughs> yeah, but look, we're going to find out because last year we had quite a few names as well and quite a few seemed to bail, so we'll see how it is this year. Um, I have heard that rumour as well that Pat's playing, uh, which will be very exciting for ATL. Well, on Charger TV there was an interview on, uh, on Paddy Rafter, it's been confirmed, so that's very exciting. Very nice. Um, for yeah, who's going to play him, I've got no idea. It depends on who he plays on the day as well, I guess on what team. Yeah. And then seeing now it's a new order, it doesn't have to be the very best has to be at the top and uh, weakest or whatever has to be at the bottom. It can be uh, any order now, so... So do you think tactics anyone. are going to come into, into play uh, this season? Tactics or luck, where you just get drawn up to the right people or the wrong people, I don't know. But um, it'll definitely make it interesting. I remember back in the school tennis days, and, and that wasn't allowed back then, you know, it had to be on the, on the strength, but I reckon... Uh, you know, I'd love to see Charlie Fancard uh, have an ATL team. <laughs> <laughs> no, it obviously has to be competitive towards the terrorist people, but it's going to be great next week. I, I um, Next week's obviously the, the launch of uh, Rod Laver's book, and uh, we're trying to get him on the TV. What's he, you know, did you look up to him growing up, obviously being a Queenslander, and, and obviously you played at a massive competitive level. What's it going to be like to you know, get to meet Rocket next week yeah, at the book launch nice. at Churchy. Um, hopefully we'll be there, although well, I've got a few uh, assignments and exams due as well around that time. Oh, so you're meeting a hero. <laughs> yeah, but then I got marked out for my assignments or exams, so we'll see. But um, look, it'll be very exciting for anyone who uh, does get to meet him. It'll be great. Do you think he could still get out there and uh, have a swing in the ATL? Jeez, we might need to get him in. I think, uh, maybe I think Shaw Park up. Sharks have got a list about this long. Like, he might be able to fit in there. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe a, a sports just opened up in our team, so he might just sneak in there. Yeah, I don't know. Joel looks like he's going to take that, uh, that that piece pretty quickly. <laughs> well, Rob, it's great to have you on uh, Charger TV. Best of luck for the season. Thank you. I uh, hope that elbow comes good. And I'm sure that uh, you're going to keep that black caviar unbeaten run. We'll see about that. Thanks.